Good morning, everyone. Greg Koch, 605 Running Company. And today I'm, I've got a timing gig. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just do um, sort of a walk along or, or a, a, a vlog of what a timing gig looks like. So today we're timing, not we, I'm timing the Carbs for Kids 5K for the South Kiwanis Club here in Sioux Falls. It is uh, about 10 to 6. Right now I've been down here at the shop. I got down here at like 5.15 a.m. to stage and load gear. I've got my car loaded up with the gear necessary to time today. And uh, yeah, come along. I'll, I'll try to do a couple little snippets as we go and, and sort of show the, the story of what timing looks like. Have fun. So before I head off to the park, I wanted to give you a look. I've got the Subi in action today. So I've got it loaded up. I've got my boxes, cones, my gator line, my flashpoint, all the necessary tools for timing today. Today's a fairly light load um, with the 5K out and back course. It should be pretty pretty straightforward, um, but it does take quite a bit, um, a little bit of manpower to get the car loaded up, but uh, let's head to the park. There goes my light. <laughs> let's see, that's better. So one thing about a timing gig is with 605 Running Company, we always say that we'll be there two hours before the start time of the race. And, and really we need that time. Um, sorry about this lighting setup here. But we, we like that time so that we can get our, all of our gear in place. Um, but the biggest thing is usually two hours in advance of an event, we're the first ones here, which is the case today. Um, so always, if, if you're gonna book us, always make sure we know where your start and finish line is so that we can get started setting up. Um, this particular event, I didn't go through our normal protocols cause it is, uh, it's a, it's a, an event where, uh, Maggie, the event organizer and I, uh, our kids go to the same daycare and, um, Maggie is with the South Kiwanis club and they've got a whole bunch of volunteers and I've got a race coming up at the end of the month called the Sioux Falls Skedaddle. So we're doing a, what we call a trade service agreement where, uh, I'm going to use all of her uh, Kiwanis volunteers in the skedaddle for a couple of days. And then I'm timing for them today um, and absorbing some of those costs. Now that's a very rare situation, but um, given that uh, the the value that we're getting from the Kiwanis club and, and all of the things that they're going to be doing for skedaddle, it makes sense. And also uh, this is a good cause. The Kiwanis club, they uh, support children, children programs. Um, and uh, quite quite a few of them, over 30 different organizations they've supported uh, throughout this past year. Um, and, and that's a big deal. So in running, obviously, we, we see a lot of this kind of stuff, a lot of these charitable causes and, and goods going in and out about our uh, running events and the things that we do. So happy to be here today for sure. Just wanted to kind of clear clear up what I'm doing, but normally what we do is we've got a timing agreement that we sign, and I also have follow up questions that include where's your start finish line, um, and a whole bunch of other things. And I didn't do that with Maggie, and I, I probably should have. So that's on me um, for not doing enough clarifying questions. But I'm here, and I'm gonna sort it out. I don't think she's marked her course yet, um, but uh, we'll we'll see. Uh, always an adventure when you're timing an event. See you in a bit. Okay, so I'm out here at Cherry Rock Park and I've got our, our start line set up. I'll show you that in a little bit more detail here in just a minute. But man, it's a beautiful morning. It's going to be a great day to run. It's a little bit on the chilly side, but it's South Dakota in April. So, you know, we'll take what we can get. The wind is down. We've got a beautiful sunrise. There's a bake sale that's going to happen in about a half hour. And then a half hour after that, we'll be running our 5K. So uh, it's called Carbs for Kids gonna be a good time with South Kiwanis Club. Let's go take a look at our setup here. All right, here's our setup. So you can see I've got some cones with some gates. We've got our gator line. These are the, these blue mats are called gators. And in each one of those, these flip open and there's a sensor that I put down in there and then I wire it to the box. And then I've got a flash point. So that flash point reads out. So the sensor is gonna read up. And then that flash point here, this guy, will read out um, with the idea of catching everybody's bib. Now this is, if you run races, this is why it's so important. You wanna put your bib on your shirt facing forward because this, this flash, point, flash point reads out and it wants to grab everything. So if you put it on like your shorts, covered up with a shirt, 
there's a chance it might not catch your read and then you're not gonna have an official time um, you know I've got a backup timer machine I'll show you that in a little bit but yeah so everything is wired to these boxes here you can see I've kind of done some uh, some okay cord management I, uh, I can always be better uh, I, I struggle to tell people that I was a rock climber when I look at that based off of that management but uh, yeah so the boxes are powered by Ryobi batteries you can see that and then I've got a wireless internet connection it's called a Nighthawk um, and so that's got like a SIM card that would that uses like a cell phone SIM card uh, to get internet. So this is connected to the internet and then I'll actually be scoring inside the Subaru. Gotta love that Subi. Gonna take care of that. Uh, scoring right in there where it's warm and I've got coffee. But uh, yeah, I'll touch base a little bit, but this is our setup for today. Uh, nice and easy, only a three mat line. It's on the bike trail. I think we have 58 participants uh, running our race today, so that'll be great. Should be a lot of fun. So we're about 20 minutes out from the start of the race, which is pretty fun. Um, I've got everything going here. I wanted to just give you a shot of what this looks like. So I'm in the back of my Subi, just chilling. I've got the gate, the hatch open, and um, got my line out. And then in here, I've got my old school timing device right there that I'll run and I'll actually punch in everyone's bib as we go. And then I've also got my binoculars so I can sight everyone in um, so that we have a backup. So that's a backup uh, timing system or solution. <laughs> it's old school, but it, it works quite effectively in case um, we don't catch a read or something like that. But then I've also got my laptop loaded up uh, and I can actually track everyone out there when they start and when they go across my mats and uh, we should be able to have live results here today for the 5K, which is really cool. Uh, if you want to see those results, you go to Run605. That's our, you can download our app, um, the Run605 app, or we've got them on our website, www.run605.com, or the Carbs for Kids uh, bake sale page where everyone signed up. The results will be uh, populating in there as well. So we've got results all over the place. Uh, that'll make it really fun, really easy to, to see what we've got going on here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's uh, everything's going really, really smooth, maybe too smooth, uh, but we always, uh, so we're an affiliate timer of Anderson Race Management. Anderson Race Management's based out of Egon, Minnesota, and Mary Anderson is the owner, and she was the one who uh, helped train us up, and uh, she always just says, smile and act like you know what you get. Smile and act like you know what's going on, and uh, no one has to know if you don't. So, so far, I actually do know what's going on, and everything's going pretty well. So. <clears throat> we'll see how it goes as we get the event rolling. I'll catch, I'll check in uh, maybe after we get the, the race started and uh, see how things are going. Bye. That's a wrap. Uh, just uh, sent out an email with uh, the final results to all of the uh, participants. Um, something I like to do after we finish up an event. So we had all of our finishers come through. Everything worked pretty well. I only had to rerun re a stream once, which sometimes happens, but everything populated after that. So yeah, nice day. Uh, good group of people. The Kiwanis Club, uh, excellent group of folks. You know, they're gonna do a lot of good with the money that they raised today. Um, and it's all gonna stay local. So really happy to be out here and uh, help Maggie out. and. Um, to see people out running. So beautiful day here in Sioux Falls. A really nice, smooth event. That's all I got. I'm going to go unload the car and uh, later this afternoon, uh, we'll outfit some special Olympic athletes with shoes. So until next time, bye.